gonna attempt to make a dipole antenna for uh, this little setup here today. And um, this is my design right here, pretty much a cable. It's looped around. I don't know if the loop's gonna screw something up. I really don't know what I'm doing, but um, this is obviously for just experimental purposes. This is my first antenna here, so uh, these are gonna be approximately uh, 17 foot long or so. I, I have a printout of, of what I need. And uh, I don't know, we're gonna give that a shot. No lightning arrestor, probably should have one. Don't try any of this at home. Um, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> uh, initial plan is to run this across uh, my entire backyard by means of this. And uh, to mount these, I'm just going to go ahead and pre drill a hole that's slightly smaller than the, the uh, screw itself. So. Don't try this at home. <laughs> That should be good. I know the ground's not level, but I'm just going to get an approximate These are the plans I got off the internet, off of an online antenna calculator. Um, all I plan to do is, from eye bolt to eye bolt, I'm going to run this um, nylon string across. I've made marks on it too, and that's going to that's going to give me my distance according to this uh, plan, 17.203 feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this wire long, and then after it's up, I'll snip it to exactly this length. like this, I wish I was a boy scout. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do the good old American double knot. <laughs> it's definitely a fat guy knot. <laughs> I hope that's stable. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. This uh, this is about 20 feet long, and basically all I'm going to do is attach it to these insulators here, and uh, slice it in the middle so each side will be 10 foot. I'll, I'll mount it to the string, and then I'll uh, and then I'll cut it to length to tune it. Still cold for me. I know, my shit's numb. Red. Dang, do it. Apparently I took a little too much off of that one. <laughs> I'm gonna be gimped. That we are. I usually like to touch a little bit of the solder onto the iron to make good contact with the wire and then the heat will transfer over no problem after that. And that's that. Do the easy one first. <laughs> now here's where it gets dangerous. I'm gonna start at my middle mark. <laughs> Let's 
<laughs> I got some little zip ties. I'm just gonna put these maybe every foot and a half, two feet, whatever's needed on the wire itself. like so. My last mark is here, so I'm just going to Throw something on it right at the end. And then uh, I think to tune these, and I've read that you can just kind of fold the end over and then give yourself a little bit and cut it. And that'll work. Just like that, I'll do the other side the same way. And uh, then we'll find a cable for the middle and we'll test it out. I'm rolling. Um, basically, I just got some acquired some cable and I'm gonna attach that to my little setup up there yeah see I put it in the wrong position but either way I mean look at that cut that's nice so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to it I honestly don't know if this cable and these connectors are made for uh, CB antennas, but uh, they're cheap and they're available to me, so that's what I chose. Let's make a hole. <laughs> Sticking it. I got a special, uh, oh, it's easier if you just show it, connector that goes to the PL289, uh, I believe, to a, just a regular F connector, and that's going to that's gonna fit my needs just perfectly. So, Alright, now all we got to do is try it out.